What's up guys, Shea Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at the MVP Neutron Soft Uplink. Let's get to it. Before we get to the video, please click that like button if you're enjoying the content. If you find yourself coming back often, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell. It really helps me out and I try to post videos at least once a week. As always, thank you all for the support. So this new release from MVP was a bit of a surprise to the fan community. We just got the stock release of the Neutron Uplink about two, uh, two months ago. And we usually don't see a mold get a new plastic offering until like several months down the road. So we're just two months out and we already got a new one. The fan theory is... Uh, they were running the Neutron Uplinks around the same time they were running the Neutron Soft Proxies and Envies. And they thought, hey, we got the mold in the machine, we got the plastic over here, let's uh, let's run a few and see how they look. And the test probably went well because we got it in stock release. So the flight numbers for the Neutron Soft Uplink are speed of 5, glide of 5, turn of negative 3, and a fade of 0.5. So one speed under the Ascend, which I just reviewed recently. Uh, this mid-range, it's, I love it so much. I, I love throwing the Theory. It's a retired Axiom mold. It was a four-speed uh, mid-range. My problem was, though, when I beat up my Electron Envies, they were honestly flying just as far, and I had the same control. So I had this weird gap in my mid-ranges from, like, you know, from my Electron en uh, Envy all the way up to my Relay. They had, like, this, like, kind of like a 60-foot window in terms of comfort that was, you know, a turnover shot that was just missing in my bag. And the uplink has filled it you know, perfectly. The Paradox, a little too flippy for me. Uh, the Uplink is not as understable and has that little bit of fight on the end, so I can definitely shape some great lines with it. Really love it for hyzer flip. Um, and to see it in a soft plastic nail is very exciting. I prefer to throw soft discs. I've explained it before. I play Wizgoff, so my whole idea is like I want to hyzer flip something down a hallway, land it in the fairway, and I want it to stay there. I don't want it to skip across. I want it to hit the ground, you know, fold up a bit, disperse its energy into the ground, and stay in the fairway for me. So, uh, to start seeing mid ranges now in Neutron Soft, very exciting. Holding out hope for a Neutron Soft deflector. Uh, but for this disc, as I've explained, same deal with the Ascend. I got them on the same day I got hurt, so I had to wait a week before I even threw them. Conditions weren't that great. Uh, we're looking at wet grass, tall grass, tailwind of about 10 miles an hour. And like I said, I'm hurt. So uh, this first set of throws here, I am going to be throwing uh, kind of MA3 style, we'll say. But uh, let's take a look and see how the Neutron Soft uplink flies. That's why I love the uplink. So you probably heard me there during some of those throws. Again, I, I just love this disc, how it flies. Even when I'm hurt, it's just so workable. I can, you know, make it fly, hyzer flip lines, turnovers, whatever I needed to. So this is really a disc that doesn't require much uh, to get uh, a lot of, you know, use out of. Now, I didn't roll the disc just because um, I don't really like to roll super soft discs simply because, like, it comes down on that roller angle and bends, and that'll mess with the angle. So it's really hard to hit a consistent, you know, accurate angle on a roller. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend rolling a soft uh, Neutron soft uplink. I would go to the Neutron if you needed a mid-range roller for whatever reason. Uh, but again, a week later, I feel a little bit better. Back was still a little touchy on forehands. Again, I explained like mid, it was mid right side back uh, that I hurt. So if I really want to like reach all the way back and then drop the elbow in, that would just aggravate it. So I do throw some touch forehands here, which again, I think is the 
the purpose of this dish. You're not going to be throwing power forehands with a such a flippy mid-range. Uh, but I do have some more full power throws. Um, we can take a look here and see how it flies. So yeah, guys, the, the Neutron Soft Uplink, honestly, anyone can really use this disc, get great utility out of it, all the way up to, you know, the big arms, I think. Heiser flips with this disc are amazing. I really love how, I just love the fact that I can hammer on this with a little bit of uh, Heiser. It's going to stand up to flat, turn over, and see that beautiful, long panning Anheuser shot. I've really been jamming on actually doing extreme Heiser shots and getting it to flip to not quite flat, kind of like that pushing Heiser and then landing softly. It's really been delivering for me, so I uh, love this disc. I love that it's in a soft option now. They did send it to me in a 166 gram. It's like the very bottom of my comfort zone for uh, weight range for mid ranges. So uh, when the release does come, I will be probably buying heavier ones in the 170s, definitely. So uh, just something to consider. But I mean, the uplink it's just a great it's a great mid range. It would it would if it, it, I'm building a starter set for somebody, I'm probably gonna add an uplink in there that or a paradox depending on the person. Uh, what I see, you know. I'll do some discretion there, but the uplink is definitely a candidate for that starter bag, I think. Um, forehand wise, you saw me throw those forehands. It was nice, but I do like the forehand things a little more firmer, just because I like that clean pop release, especially with all the torque of a forehand. You don't want this wobbling too much, and this uh, is just a little too soft for my liking. I can do it if I need to, uh, but I definitely was kind of at my, I was the, that finesse power. It was kind of where I draw the line. If I had to throw anything harder, I would want a disc that's a little more firm. So uh, it's not really a criticism, that's a preference of mine. But yeah, guys, it's really cool. We got the uplink and now we have a you new, know, a softer uh, option for it, which is great. I'm definitely going to be hitting those up. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out the Neutron Soft uplink. Thank you to MVP for sending this to me to review. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors for all your disc golf needs. Check out Phoenix Discs and Basket Bashers Disc Golf.